Hello and welcome to the Shoe Raider Droid channel on YouTube. And today I have got my very old friend, Debbie Gliori, who Let's is... the old, if you will. Sorry. I have my very new friend, <laughs> Debbie Gliori, who I've known for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, who is an incredibly famous, uh, is well-established children's author, illustrator, and we're going to talk a little bit about illustrating yes. and writing books. And this, this one's your latest. Tell us a little bit about your latest book, which is called The Scariest Thing of All. Are you scared? I'm terrified. <laughs> oh, don't be. He, he kind of gets over his fears. It's about a rabbit right. called Pip, but it's kind of autobiographical. Uh -huh. It's about the rabbit in us all. The rabbit in us all. I will show you more pages inside, but there's copyright issues, so I can't. So You're joking, <laughs> yes. <isn't he>? yeah. <laughs> But I, I have to be very careful about oh, that. Oh, sigh. Oh, well, what, so yeah. we, we can talk about it. But we, we can, can talk about it, but we can't show the pictures. That's a real shame. Well, anyway, yes. this poor little guy is not just frightened of one thing or two things. He's frightened of absolutely everything. You name it, he's frightened of yeah. it. And he has a huge list which he carries around with him everywhere, which is such fun to draw. Yeah. This vast, long roll of paper. I can look. Go on. It's the pink page. I can page. look. It's the pink page. It's the pink page. It's about I can draw. <laughs> Back, 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 back. There we go, yeah. the pink page. Fabulous. You'll have Big. to buy the book to find out what it is. Oh, isn't that cruel? He's oh, that's brilliant. It's brilliant. Oh. I'll put, I will put a link down it's below so for you to get it off Amazon. <laughs> Good. Beautiful. Yeah. Anyway, right, he's, yes. he's scared of absolutely everything. Yes. And he, he, basically what he's scared of is himself. Right. That's what the book boils down to. Right. And where it came from was I was writing the book before this book, yeah. which was called Stormy Weather, mm -hmm. and um, I had a leftover line from it, and the line ran something like, the scariest thing you'll ever find will come from the deeps inside your mind. Ooh. And I loved that line yeah. so much, but try as I might, I couldn't shoehorn it into, into the, other book. the previous book. Yeah. And I thought, right, okay, I need to use that line yeah. somewhere. Because it is a truism, I reckon. It is, it is. And and how often do you find one book leads into another? Every time. Every time I find that, yeah. Yeah, yeah if if you allow it to, yeah. you, you have to kind of trust. Yes. You also have to do an awful lot of waiting around. I mean, do you yeah. chew the ends off your pencils and stare out the window? <laughs> starve quietly to death? I spend waiting. a lot of time staring out of the window. Mm. Yes. And dreaming. And dreaming, and dreaming. That's a lot of, Dreaming is very important. It's yeah. the kind of stuff you got into trouble for at school. Absolutely. Stop Absolutely. daydreaming, Rainer. I, I, Get off yes. it. I was interviewing somebody just last week, Justin Superstar, you can see that interview, and he was saying he used to draw things on the back of, of his school things and the teacher would write, don't do this! And his advice was, if you're doing anything creative, kids, don't listen to your teachers when they tell you to stop. Exactly. <laughs> yes, I know. Yeah. 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 I mean, some, I, I sort of go into schools and talk, talk, talk to children quite a mm. lot, and frequently I'll go in and I'll say, don't plan your stories. And you can yeah. hear you know, all around the classroom, <gasps> Because mm. I think at the moment children yeah. are being taught to plan, but yes. for me that's you know that's the death yeah. of the story. If yes. I plan it, it usually dies. Well, I, I actually do a lot of planning now, um, because um, because I'm kind of dyslexic and I'm just such a scatterbrain. But but I think I do all, all you know I I do all the original thinking in a very scattered kind of way, and then I start bringing it together and planning it. Mm. I think, but but that's kind of probably to a later stage, all the inspiration comes in a very scattered kind of way, in sketchbooks. In sketchbooks. Is that? Shu has been asking if I would show my sketchbook. My yeah. sketchbook is a bit, oh, it's a bit like beautiful. an underwear drawer, you really actually don't want to see this stuff. But anyway, no, I'm a, you're you allowed see. to see this. You're allowed cause, to see cause this. You're, but, you, can you can you say, that? you have to say, I allow you to use this on YouTube. <laughs> Do I have to say, yeah. I allow you to use this on YouTube. Great, there we go. Thank you. This was the original uh, rabbit, except he did, he kind of changed. When I first started drawing him, I was drawing him in, in charcoal uh, because it's really nice to draw. So it's yeah. you know, nice and smudgy, and if you make mistakes, you know, it's beautiful. you can rub them out. So I was trying to find out what he looked like. Yeah, I'll bunny. take some close ups. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. Okay, there we go. It's just beautiful. It's quite cute. And all yeah. the sort of things he would find that were in the forest, you know, <gasps> that, that might frighten him, like, which aren't that frightening, but would appear to be frightening yeah. to a small rabbit. I quite like this little catcher. Yeah, I might, cute. He might pop yeah. up with some. 
And well, he I might pop do. up in another book. He might think? pop up yeah. in another book. Yeah. And then I thought there might be yeah. ulcers, and then I discovered I couldn't <gasps> draw ulcers very well. So <laughs> well, I think you can. <laughs> well, I don't know. These, these oh, ones are exactly. okay, yeah. but wait, this one's this, this is charcoal? Charcoal. Right. All charcoal, yeah. But I've decided I can't draw ulcers. So moving oh. swiftly along, and then, well, you wouldn't get dragons in the wood. Would you? <laughs> <laughs> and then I was coming closer to what he should look like, because yeah. if you want an animal to look really sweet, you make its head very, very big and its yes. body quite small. You know, yeah. Then it looks uh, yeah, very vulnerable. Yeah, yeah. And then that's his list beginning to come together because huh? I reckon I'm, I'm a compulsive list maker you know, right, I make okay. lists for everything because yeah. it gives me such a feeling it's a bit like planning really well yeah but that's <laughs> well it's a to-do list you know it's a plan yeah. not yeah but I don't list out what I'm going to do in a book yeah. you know I'll, I'll sort of list what I have to do like get up breathe brush yeah. teeth yeah, eat breakfast have yeah. a poo you know all okay, that kind of yeah, stuff. too yeah. much information yeah. anyway so this kind of thing these are just gorgeous and then I thought well I put a fox and no so this is this is the next book this is the, next, the book after the scariest thing of all yeah. is um, about a wolf. How fantastic. Yeah, he's so. quite fun. So that's, oh, so that's sorry. absutely beautiful. Good. Thank you very it's much. It's a bit of a grubby sketch book though, isn't it? It's very smudgy. Yeah, this is no, I think that's what some people are incredibly neat. I know, aren't yeah. they? I find yeah. your sketchbooks yeah. quite yeah. scary. Yeah. Yeah. Neat yeah. sketchbooks. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the world, yeah. You'll be seeing Sarah McIntyre later. Has she got a neat sketchbook? Has she? I think so. Well, neat sketchbooks are wonderful. She's hastily reflecting. No, we love neat sketchbooks. So, um, what good piece of advice would you give to somebody who wanted to be an illustrator? Good piece of advice. Can I tell you what piece of advice I was given? Yeah, that would be really good. My dad is an art teacher. Mm. was an art teacher, yeah. but then he went on to make musical instruments for a living. Yeah. And um, he said, draw old shoes. And I thought, eh? You what? That's Am I like, an old shoe? Yeah. <laughs> well, an old shoe like me? He said they're all old shoes because they have loads of character and they're all different. And they're, he has a good point. Mm. I would say just draw anything. Everything that's around you. Yeah, yeah, I would say that too. And that, I think that's what I tried to do on my channel to, to show all sorts of different things. Shoes, I will do an old shoe for you. How to draw an old shoe. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. And would you be incredibly kind, first of all, and sign my book. I would be happy to say that. Actually, I've thought of another piece of advice. Yeah. Here is an exercise, and we try and do it through the summer holidays um, when, when the children are off school. Um, we try and keep a summer holiday diary for the entirety um, of the six yeah. weeks. And usually not very much happens because we don't have loads and loads of money, so we don't do exciting things. But yeah. we do a diary entry for every single day of the summer holiday, and yeah. I try and illustrate it. That's ah, great. The discipline of having to illustrate yeah. not a great deal every yes. single day is really hard. Try doing that for Try six doing weeks. that. And in <laughs> fact, I've got a project coming up for you, which is kind of based on that kind of thing quite soon. So would you firstly very kindly sign my copy? I'll sign it very kindly. Very kindly. And and would you possibly show us in a moment how to draw your little rabbit? Yes, happily. Fantastic, thank you. Oh, Great. There we go. Thank you very much. Thank Luke, you. There we are. Can you see? Can you see? Can you see? How how wonderful is that? And Debbie's now going to show you how to draw her rabbit. So Debbie, will you show us how to draw your little rabbit, please? Will do. Hockey. Will you, Please, please, Mrs. Pencil, will you draw? <laughs> it's Mrs. Charcoal. It's Mrs. Thing. Charcoal. Oh, even yeah. better. No, I haven't right? done any charcoal on, on my channel at all. So, oh, okay. So I am on. learning here as all well. All right. We yeah. love charcoal because it's it's kind of, it's, it's quite forgiving. It's very messy as well. So right. my fingers will end up being very black. So you start off with a kind of eggy, yeah. sort of smudgy thing. Well, have you used charcoal in the finished drawings? No, yeah. never. But when I'm sketching, yeah. it's, it's, especially if I'm sort of, when I'm first starting to f sort of try and find a character, yeah. pull it out of the air, as it were. Yeah. Charcoal is just such a nice thing. Yeah. And those eyes are quite wide apart. The wider apart they are, the more innocent the creature looks. Yeah, I, I, reckon. I would agree with you there. And that shading, that's just instant shading, it's just isn't it? It's instant shading. It's Bam. so fast. Yeah. <laughs> That's and because good. because yeah they are quite big ears, um because the whole book the scariest thing of all was sort of set yeah. at, more or less at night, and I wanted to get that whole sort of forest thing going. Yeah. Um, charcoal's so nice because you can very very quickly you know, sort of get very yeah, very really dark oh, dark dark black. I, I've got to get some charcoal. Yeah, it's lovely. I should. <laughs> I'll give you some at the end of oh, this. Great, thank you. Isn't it nice stuff though? Yeah, it's, it's just beautiful. lovely. And you can just, it's moody. Yeah. You can instantly just sort yeah. of start piling in the um, darkness. Yeah. I should um, say, because I have a very international audience, um, that Debbie is Scottish. 
Despite no, I'm actually there. in Scotland at the moment recording this, which is why she says Moody. 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 Despite it's, having an Italian surname. I'm having an Hang Italian on. surname. He's got a double chin. Yeah. There. There we so go. I would actually say, I would say Moody. Moody. And in America, it'd probably say Moody. Many. Something like that. That sounds yeah. a bit Australian. Does it? Yeah. <laughs> Bros. <laughs> So, but you say moody. Moody. Moody, yeah, which I moody. think makes it even more moody. But I can't remember. You know, like you, it was, um, when did I finish this book? I finished this book in May, so I haven't actually mm. drawn this rabbit yeah. since May. How you does do his forget, body? You, you do forget. Yeah. He's got a little sort of kind of like egg shaped. Yeah. Egg shaped body. Cute. And the same sort of thing is happening. The same sort of thing with his head yeah. kind of happens with his body because he's got a sort of, when he's in colour, this bit's cream. Right, yeah. And this bit around here is sort of brown. It's like he's wearing a baby grow. It is like, exactly yeah. like he's wearing yeah. a baby grow. And he has sort Sweet. of chunky little fat legs. Yeah. A bit like that with, oops, sorry, that one went, went the wrong way. This is the great thing with charcoal as well. Yeah. If you make a mistake. Just rub it out. Do you, rub it. Do you fix it afterwards? With hairspray. All? You do? Yeah. Yeah. Do you carry a can of hairspray around mm. with you? No, no so <laughs> this this is going to go the way of all rabbits. You wait till you get home. I'll wait till oh. I get, I'll, I'll just yeah. not open this page again. Be, be right. too, actually, I'll have to on Monday and wave it yeah. at children. 300 children, twice oh. in a tent. So we shall I got have some shaving foam. Isn't that? <laughs> Did that help? <laughs> You're so helpful. Not. Um, is he, he's right. left-handed, so that'd be this hand. Right. He's got an enormous big pencil. For you have to remember things like that, don't you? That you do. The character is, I know. Yeah, yeah. I have such problems at the moment with mm. my Mr. Wolf book because I can't for the life of me remember how many fingers he's got or paws. Yeah. So hang on, wait yeah. a minute, what are we doing? He's, he's got this enormous pencil. Yeah. He is holding it like... I, I just got sent, and I'm stuck here, and I got sent a PDF of the final artwork, the, the final layout of my last Olympia book. And I was checking through it, and I went, oh, I've forgotten something oh, on oh, the no. very last, well, just one tiny thing. Oh, no. And there's a hand pointing straight at you. It should have a leather thong tied round its uh, wrist, and uh, it's a very important part of the story, and it's and not it there. Isn't, isn't there. What are you going to do? Well, they said, they've sent me a digital... Um, they sent me a copy of the digital uh, file and I'm mm. going to kind of put it in on Photoshop because <laughs> they need it on Monday because it's got to go to the printers. Oh, heck, at least you can do that. Yeah. And it's Saturday today. <laughs> and I'm stuck here, I can't do anything about it. I'm not stuck, I'm having a great time here in Big Town. But... Yeah, there are better places to be yeah. stranded. Yeah. This is meant to be him kind of... That arm's uh, not quite right, not but lovely. anyway. Yeah. Will that do? That's absolutely fantastic. That's and a bit of shading. I always do that little bit of shading, I say, just putting him on the table, and yes. putting him on the floor. It makes him uh, look yeah. like he's actually really standing there. Yeah, yeah. Right. That's Something fantastic. Like Slightly red nose. There we go. It's Scotland gorgeous after all. Well, <laughs> <laughs> That's absolutely gorgeous, and thank you very much, Debbie. You're very welcome. And, uh, and as I say, you know, if you want to know anything more, put your comments in the box below. And while you're at it, subscribe, because I've got some more fantastic <laughs> interviews and things coming up for you, as well as lessons and things like that. So, uh, yes, thank you very, very much. You are very, very well. And we'll put all the links to Debbie's books and websites and everything that's wonderful about Debbie in the box below. And if you want to know anything about Debbie and her things, put comments and questions in the box below. Can we send you questions and things and you might answer them? Yes. Good. Good job. We'll do that. OK. Thank you very much. There we go. Good. Thank you. We better not have that on film. <laughs> Raw. Raw. <laughs> if you have been, keep watching and uh, keep coming back to the Shoe Renner Drawing Channel. Keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, practice, practice. And I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye bye.